Now in this part of the question we're being asked to differentiate with respect to x this expression here e to the 3x being multiplied by sine x plus 2 cos x. So in order to differentiate this with respect to x we could introduce this with the differential with respect to x of e to the 3x multiplied by sine x plus 2 cos x or alternatively we could say let y for instance equal this expression and then work out what dy by dx is. What I'm going to opt for is to let y equal this expression so I'll just take that out okay so we'll just say let y equal e to the 3x times sine x plus 2 cos x. So in order to find dy by dx what I'm going to need to do in this example anyway is because I've got two functions of x being multiplied together that's e to the 3x times this bracket I need to use the product rule for differentiation. So let me just remind you if you've forgotten what that is, that is if you have two functions of x being multiplied together, let's call them u and v, then it can be shown that to differentiate y with respect to x is equal to one of those functions, let's say u, multiplied by the differential of the other function with respect to x, so that would be dv by dx, then it's plus, and then it is v times du by dx. That then is the product rule, and that's what I'm going to use here to differentiate this expression. So, e to the 3x is going to be my u, and v is going to be this bracketed expression, sine x plus 2 cos x. So, starting then what, with this, we have u, which is e to the 3x, so that would be e to the 3x, multiplied by dv by dx, that's the differential of this bracket, so differentiate sine x with respect to x and that is cosine x or cos x for short and differential of 2 cos x becomes minus 2 sine x. Then we have plus and then it is v times du dx so v was the bracket so we'll just put that in there sine x plus 2 cos x and then we need to multiply this by du dx, so that's to differentiate e to the 3x with respect to x. Differential of e times a constant times x, e to the ax if you like, is always ae to the ax. So in this particular example, differentiating e to the 3x will be 3e to the 3x. So just close that bracket off there. Okay, all we need to do now is just tidy this up. So what I'm going to do is notice that e to the 3x, by the way, is a common factor. So I'm just going to put e to the 3x outside a bracket. And inside would go cos x minus 2 sin x. So I'll put that in there, cos x minus 2 sin x. And then with this term, we've got 3 times the sine x, so that's plus 3 sine x. And 3 times 2 cos x, so that's going to be plus 6 cos x. And what I can do now is just simplify the bracket by gathering up like terms. So we've got cos x and 6 cos x, so that's clearly 7 cos x and minus 2 sine x plus 3 sine x is just sine x. I don't think we can do much more with that, so there you go. There's the simplified version of the differential of e to the 3x times sine x plus 2 cos x. And that brings us to the end of this part then of the question.